Hello everyone, I am doing an outfit of the day video. For those of you who've wondered what O-O-T-D stands for, that's what it stands for, outfit of the day. I probably should have explained that a long time ago because I know I didn't know what that was for the longest time and I had to Google it. That's what it is, outfit of the day. My outfit today is a, I guess you would call it a date night outfit because my husband and I are going out to dinner it's not a dressy outfit, but it's not a really casual outfit either. So I would say maybe refined casual. Everything I'm wearing, also my makeup, accessories, I will list it all on my blog. And that link to my blog will be down below. It will say all item links. I am wearing a cotton sweater for the restaurant because it's still low 90s, very humid, still very much summer weather, but that's what it is in Florida. It's why I like to at least try to dress a little bit like fall in terms of my colors. I don't always do it, but I like to do it occasionally so I remind myself it's fall and it gives me an excuse to wear different colors, different looks that I wouldn't wear in the summer, and this is one of those. So if you're up north and it's starting to get really cold, you probably wouldn't do a cotton sweater like I'm doing, but you could do one in wool or cashmere. My pants also are a seasonless weight, meaning there's no wool, but you could always do wool. And I'm wearing pumps, which is why I call it a more refined look. If I wanted to make it a little bit more casual, I could do loafers. What else did I want to say about it? Oh, my blouse is new. It's my second blouse I've bought with this kind of collar, the rounded collar. The other one I've worn recently and I did a video on was my one with the beading. And this is the one I think I mentioned in that video that this one I bought also and it has ruffles on the collar and all the way down the front. It's cotton did i tell you that which i love i do wear tops made out of um, seasonless material which is man-made material occasionally but i i love cotton it's comfortable it's breathable and i love ruffles this season ruffles are really popular not that they ever go out of style but you can find them more available in stores which is why i'm in heaven what's so cute is not only are the ruffles here on the sleeve but also here on the um, the uh, sleeve so it's got sort of double ruffles here and then of course around the neckline makeup my lip color is not a new one. I showed it to you in one of my, I think it was my first makeup, no, my second foundation video. This is by RMS Beauty. The color is Diabolique. I applied this just with my fingertip, my little finger, and then afterwards I dabbed a little bit, just a little bit of shea butter on top. I also always moisturize before I put on any lipstick. I moisturize my lips with shea butter and then usually blot it if it hasn't absorbed all the way into my lips by the time I put on my lip color. You can use this on your cheeks, but I didn't today. What did I use? I used a new lip, I mean a new cheek color. It's a powder. I will put that on my blog. I don't remember the color. Anything else new in my makeup? I'm wearing a charcoal eyeshadow. It's not new, but I'm not sure if I've worn it in a while. I like the color charcoal. It's a great option to brown and a good option to a black eyeliner if I want to take it all over my eyelid. I also like it because it's just so easy. You just quickly run a brush all over your upper eyelid and underneath your eyelashes and I'm finished. So I like that. That is it, I think. I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Now I'm off to dinner with my hubby. I hope you're having a nice day or evening wherever you are. My outfit is coming up next. My links will be on my blog. That link to my blog is down below. And thank you for watching my video. I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.